Welcome back to Local 5 Live. Supper clubs and old fashions, both Wisconsin staples. And now you can pay homage to them at a documentary film screening, best viewed with an old fashioned in hand. Forget the popcorn. <laughs> Jackie Corsi from the Thelma Sadoff Center for Arts is here, along with filmmaker Holly DeRyder. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, Holly, what a fun topic for a documentary. Gee, how'd you pick it? <laughs> <laughs> and what was your research method? Yeah. <laughs> well, researching this was a lot of fun, traveling to different supper clubs all across the state. Um, but I grew up here in northeast Wisconsin and I went to school in Chicago I didn't think much was gonna change I was still in the Midwest but then I got there and there was no fish fries there were no old fashions there were no supper clubs mm -hmm. so then I the wheels started to turn and I thought that would make a great subject so what can we see in your film you learn a lot of the history of the state and how it ties into why the supper club is here, why it was able to flourish so much. Um, you see tons of supper clubs from all over the state. And uh, it's a great learning about um, old fashions and fish fries. It's a good yeah. time. Yeah. Jackie, tell us a little bit about the screening because you're not letting us go away hungry. We are not, no. <laughs> I mean, like any good supper club, you're going right. to have a nice meal, right? So this evening is going to include, of course, the screening of the documentary uh, and a talk back with Holly. And then the author of the book, Mary Bergen, will be there as well. So she will be talking. But we're also going to have uh, two supper clubs We'll be providing samples, Red Cabin at Green Acres and Wisco, an old-fashioned supper club. And then, of course, we're going to have an old-fashioned bar as well. You can learn how to make your old, old, own old fashions. And uh, Forest Floor Foods has donated all the garnishes, so you can choose your garnishes, you know, because that makes a good old-fashioned, you know, whether it's Brussels sprouts <laughs> or olives or just fruit. Um, you know, so all of that will be a, a available as well. What did you find makes a good old fashioned? Because right before we came on, we were talking about how now there's like, they're venturing into other tastes, I guess, of old fashions, including tequila. So, what did you find that makes a good old fashioned? Well, brandy has always been king here okay. in Wisconsin for old fashions. Tastes are kind of moving away from that sweet drink, to some okay. whiskeys coming out as the front runner. Okay. Um, but I think the important thing is each supper club has a homemade element to it. Some people make their mixes in house or some muddle it right in front of you and I think that's really important to have that homemade aspect to it. Sure. Did you find that there's a bit of a resurgence? Certainly they've always been popular but there's there's something kind of old as new again, right? Oh yeah, for sure. I started uh, researching and working on this film in 2009 oh. and when I talked to supper club owners back then they said like this is it, we're the end of the line, this you know, our clientele was dying out. Mm -hmm. And now when my film came out in 2015, people were excited about supper clubs and the supper club owners have been telling me, we're, we're good, like the next generation wants to step up and take over. So we're excited to see that. Do you, th I mean, uh, where, where will this be screened? Like, do you hope to share this with people in New York so they truly do know how to make old fashioned? <laughs> or what's your goal for the film? My goal for this film was when I started making this film, we didn't realize what we had here in Wisconsin, mm. that the Supper Club really re represents who we are and is really part of our culture and history, and it's really important that we support it, because if they disappear, we're just going to be like everyone else with all this ch same chain restaurants that you get in every other city. Sure. So people come to Wisconsin because we're, we're unique and we're different, and I wanted people to understand where that tradition came from. Let's touch briefly on the cookbook as well. You mentioned the author, Mary, is going to be there. What are we going to find in here? Um, she does a whole a wonderful uh, recipes and mm -hmm. things from, from many supper clubs, yeah. correct? Mary did a yes. great job of choosing a variety of supper clubs from across the state. Um, not only do you get the history in there, but you also get some recipes. For real, we get their real recipes. Yeah. Yes, for real <laughs> recipes from these supper clubs. And honestly, I have the book and I find myself using it because some of them are just really practical recipes. They're really great. <laughs> the relish tray, right? Put right. some carrots and dip <laughs> on a plate. My <laughs> favorite is the ramekin of cheese with the breadsticks. Oh, that right, you can yes. dip in. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that stuff. <laughs> well, you can watch this documentary, Old Fashioned, the story of the Wisconsin Supper Club. The event is Thursday, April 4th, again at the Thelma Sadoff Center for the Arts in Fond du Lac. Food sampling starts at 6. There will be a talk back with the cookbook author and filmmaker as well. Tickets are $10. For more information, head to thelmaarts.org. Thanks, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.